90% versus 51%. Same fighter jet, two different militaries, one crushing success, one struggling failure. Israel's F-35s are flying combat missions at rates that shocked the Pentagon. In 2023, American generals sat in classified briefings, watching data that changed everything. Israeli pilots just flew into Iranian airspace in broad daylight, struck nuclear sites, and returned without a single loss. Zero. The Russians said their S-300 air defense systems were impenetrable. Israel proved them wrong. And the combat secrets they handed to America? They're worth more than $10 billion. What you're about to discover will change how you see American air power forever. Now, here's what makes this story critical right now. When those Israeli jets flew home from Iran, every single system on board recorded data. Flight patterns, electronic warfare readings, radar evasion techniques, all of it transmitted back to the Pentagon within hours. American engineers have been studying this information for months, and what they found is already reshaping how our Air Force prepares for the next major conflict. But let's start with the number that made every general in Washington sit up and pay attention. Israel keeps 35 out of 39 F-35s ready for combat at any moment. That's during active warfare, missiles incoming, multiple fronts, constant operations. Meanwhile, the U.S. Air Force is barely maintaining half its fleet in mission-ready status. Lieutenant General Michael Schmidt runs the entire F-35 program for America. When he testified before Congress, he used one word to describe Israel's performance, outstanding. But here's what makes his statement remarkable. He didn't just compliment Israel, he told Congress that America needs to copy what they're doing. The secret isn't complicated. Israel looked at the American maintenance system and said, thanks, but no thanks. They built their own. Every other F-35 operator in the world, Britain, Australia, Japan, all of them, they send their jets back to Lockheed Martin facilities for major repairs, not Israel. They fix everything themselves, right there on their own basis. During recent combat operations, five Israeli F-35s went down with mechanical issues. Four were back in the air within days. They didn't wait for parts from America. They didn't wait for contractor approval. They grabbed tools and fixed them. Because when missiles are flying toward your cities, you don't have time for bureaucracy. An Israeli Air Force officer explained it perfectly back in 2016. He said Lockheed Martin's automated maintenance system would work great for countries that don't have missiles falling on them. That one sentence explains everything. America designed the F-35 for peacetime efficiency. Israel needed it to work during war. If you're starting to realize why this matters for America's security, type yes in the comments. Let's see how many of you understand what's really at stake here. But the maintenance story is just the opening chapter. What Israel did to the aircraft itself, the modifications they made, that's where this gets really interesting. And it's information that China and Russia desperately wish they had. The F-35 program has rules, strict ones. You don't modify the aircraft. You don't change the systems. Everything stays exactly as Lockheed Martin designed it, unless you're Israel. Israel negotiated something unprecedented, permission to install their own technology into the most advanced fighter jet America has ever built. Not just weapons, we're talking about the electronic guts of the aircraft. They developed an electronic warfare system that uses frequency hopping. Here's what that means in plain English. When an enemy radar tries to track the jet, Israel's system jumps between frequencies so fast the radar can't lock on. It's like trying to grab smoke. And this technology doesn't exist on any other F-35 in the world. When Israeli F-35s penetrated Iranian airspace, they faced Russian-made S-300 air defense systems. These are sophisticated weapons, long-range radars, fast missiles. The Russians sold them to Iran, saying they were virtually unbeatable. Israel flew right through them. The frequency hopping system kept their jets invisible. Iran's air defense operators never saw them coming. Those missions covered over 1,100 miles each way, deep into enemy territory. No refueling stops inside hostile airspace. No losses. They hit their targets in broad daylight and came home and every piece of data from those flights is now being studied by American pilots. Israel also added their own helmet display system, developed with American companies but customized for their needs. It projects a complete view around the aircraft directly onto the pilot's visor. Every threat, 
every friendly aircraft, everything in 360 degrees. Our pilots are now testing similar systems based on what Israel proved works in combat. Now, you might wonder why the Pentagon is so interested in what Israel did with fuel tanks. Stay with me here, because this detail might be the most important one for America's future, especially if we ever have to face China. Israel added special fuel tanks to their F-35s. These aren't regular drop tanks that hang under the wings. Those create radar signatures that defeat the whole purpose of a stealth fighter. Israel designed conformal tanks that hug the aircraft's body. They're shaped to maintain stealth while adding hundreds of miles of range. Why does this matter? The Pacific Ocean is enormous. If America fights China, our F-35s might need to fly from bases thousands of miles away. Mid-air refueling becomes a problem because refueling tankers are big, slow, and easy to shoot down. But if F-35s can fly extended missions without refueling, that changes everything. Israel just proved it works. Their jets flew to Iran and back over 2,200 miles total without compromising stealth or combat capability. The Pentagon is now rushing to figure out how to add similar systems to American F-35s, because in the Pacific, that extra range could mean the difference between victory and defeat. October 7, 2023, Hamas attacks Israel. Within hours, the threat environment completely changes. Israel's F-35s need updated information immediately. The mission data files, think of them as the aircraft's brain, needed to be reprogrammed with new threat information. Normally, this process takes months. The Pentagon did it in eight days. Eight days! That's revolutionary. The F-35 program has struggled for years with slow updates, but when Israel needed it desperately, American engineers proved they could move at wartime speed. That eight-day update process is now the new standard. American F-35s worldwide can receive critical updates in days instead of months. Israel's crisis created a solution that makes every F-35 operator more capable. But Israel took it further. After every combat mission, their F-35s create something called field mission data files. These capture everything that happened during the flight, what worked, what didn't, which tactics succeeded, which threats appeared. All of it gets analyzed and fed back into the system for the next mission. The software literally learns from combat. It gets smarter with every flight. The U.S. military is now working to implement the same approach across our entire fleet. The combat record Israel has built tells a story that defense contractors could never write in a sales brochure. And some of these missions, they sound like something from a movie, except they're real.